hard to write about a family history that's so complex with so many stories. And because I was really keen to not write something that would be so filled with the notion of being a confession, especially because I've gotten a confession knowing the times in my life as a Catholic, um, I wanted to pair down what, what was the kind of essence of gravitating towards the, the notion of what the, the work is about that I'm exhibiting in here. So what I'm starting with is actually a later point in the essay, which says, a quote from my mother's diary is, I'm on an enterprise to see my ancestors. And then I write, my family moved to Washington, D.C. the same year John F. Kennedy was elected president. My mother missed the Catholic community we left behind in Buffalo. She became, became concerned about a key that she had in a small change purse. She would talk about it and often think about whether it still opened the door to the house my parents first lived in when they arrived in this country. After a few years, my mother disappeared one night from the house in Washington. My father received a call from the police in a small town outside Buffalo. My mother had taken a Greyhound bus to Buffalo and then a taxi to the house my parents first lived in. She arrived at the door and tried to open the lock. The people living there called the police. The police called my father, and somehow they got her back on the to Washington. Her behavior was becoming, beginning to become more erratic. My struggle over whether or not there was a God was dramatic. I was depressed. This was when I was uh, in college <coughs> sophomore. I'd come to realize things about my mother that I couldn't accept and prayed she would change. On November 9, 1965, the North Northeast Blackout struck. At 5.27 p.m., I was on my knees at pre-dinner mass in the chapel of the Catholic Women's College I attended. Kneeling behind the rows of nine veils, with the evening light shimmering over them, I believed in something. The lights went out just as the priest held up the host, symbolizing the transubstantiation of the host into the body and blood of Christ, and I was an exalted believer. Soon after that, I remember going into the confessional and uttering these words to the priest. Bless me, Father. For I think I have a calling to become a nun. I was stunned when my calling to become a nun was dismissed. By the sword, who told me I had a generous heart, but he didn't think I was meant to be a nun. A few weeks later, he left the priesthood and went off to the president of the student council, a woman many years his senior. <laughs>